Let's give a lot of credit to Charleston, man. That's a really good basketball team right there. Um, obviously, they're on a streak and they're ranked for a reason. Um, they're really good. Um, you know, in the first half, you know, I think the chaos and the, we talked about the external fact, uh, factors of the game, uh, not letting that get to us. And I thought the chaos around us uh, didn't allow us to focus in uh, like I wanted us to. And, um, you know, they came out and punched us in the mouth. They were way tougher. I thought they outcompeted us. Um, you know, I think in the, in the first half, we were just trying to hold on. Uh, I wish that was disappointing for me. Uh, in the second half, we came out and we played like we're capable of and like I expect us to. I thought we were tougher than them. I thought we uh, outcompeted them. Uh, but in clutch moments, uh, we made mistakes. They made us pay for them. We had our chance to win the game more than one time. And, um, you know, we just uh, made a mistake, and then they, they penalized us for it. Um, so, you know, we just got to be better. We got to be better in clutch moments. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'll take the shots that he had every day of the week. You know, he was right around a basket. He missed some chippies. Um, he did some really good things. Uh, he's a heck of a player. Uh, he missed some chippies that he doesn't normally miss. And um, I can guarantee you, come back Saturday, we're going to do the same thing. Um, I believe in I believe in him. I believe in all my guys. He's our money guy. Um, we're gonna keep putting him in those positions, and I'm confident that he'll he'll capitalize next time uh, because I believe in him. Um, you know, he's done it time and time again. You know, he's delivered for us. So, um, you know, I'm not gonna go away from him. I'm, he had foul trouble. That's why he was sitting out, and um, we put him in and put him in an ISO situation. Um, whether he got fouled or not, that's not up for me to discuss. But uh, you know, I thought I thought you know I thought he should have won a lot earlier. Should have won a lot earlier. Uh, I thought he played around with it too much, um, but he still got a shot up. And um, you know, I'm gonna live with that one. Well, just you know, what I said to him in the locker room is exactly what I just said to you guys. Um, you know, the first half, you know, we can't get off to that start. You know, it takes a lot of energy to come out of that hole. And um, you know, we we have to make sure in clutch moments we lock in. So I talked about that. And then, um, you know, we lost the game last year when we were on our streak, and we bounced back and won a regular season title. Um, so that, that loss doesn't define our season. It doesn't define who we are. Um, I expect us to come to work tomorrow and be dialed in. Nobody in here, nobody out there, nobody in our locker room is going to feel sorry for them. Uh, we got we to gotta get that one out of our system and uh, have two prep, good prep days and be ready to take it out on our next opponent. One more question. You said some of the external factors uh, got you guys a little bit. You guys are going to have big games down the road the rest of this season. You know, what do you take from tonight's game? Some of the you know maybe positives with the crowd support and everything, and, and turn them uh, to your advantage. No, I think they I think they understand. They understand what I mean when I say that. Um, it's just when you get out and get out there in the moment, you know, you can kind of lose yourself a little bit and uh, get out of character and. Um, you know, they shot a high percentage on us in the first half, and uh, they were beating us to every loose ball, and they were just out toughing us, and uh, that's not us. Um, so what what can we take from it? Yeah, we're going to have a really good crowd, but the crowd ain't going to make shots for us. They're not going to get stops for us. We have to lock in and do our job every single possession. And, um, you know, that's what a really mature team does, and um, we've been working on, on our maturity um, up to this point, and we have to continue to grow in that.